Rory and Billy Mom, man. Who I smoke is really who <laughs> I smoke is Rory. <laughs> That shit was legendary. That was a legendary stream. That I ain't gonna hold you. That was a legendary man, stream. I was driving. I had to put that shit on. It was so fucking funny. Man. It was so funny. Bro. It was so funny. It was so funny. Um, but hey, we don't know academics. We don't know Roy. We don't know William really Mall. This is Audio Fiends, and welcome back to another edition. Please help us get subscribers by being one of those people that subscribe. Uh, yo, mad at y'all, man. Be watching without subscribing. Yo, help a brother out, man. What the... Anyway, and make sure you like the video too. Uh, so we have Rory here. Be making music. Um, and he got Jay Electronic on the track. Very and interesting. Reggie. I don't know who Reggie is. Whoever the fuck that is. Whoever the fuck that is. Reggie. <laughs> Reggie Kata. <laughs> that's that's my brother. Yeah, I love that shit. This shit funny um so there's no credits on this we can't do a producer spotlight maybe rory made the beat i don't know does he sing or something i don't know does he you're asking me if he sings does he sing rap i don't know what he does i don't know what he does either we're gonna find out today man uh this is probably not his most popular song maybe if this is good we'll listen to the most popular one i don't know um i'm quite curious what this is gonna turn out like um because i think a big part of being able to have a music opinion is actually trying to make music yourself. I think it, it definitely helps you understand a lot. So now you respect his music opinion? No. Depends if his music is good, I guess. But I mean, it, it's not, I'm not saying it's everything. I'm saying it's like, it, it can help. It can. Okay. But it's not everything. You know what I'm saying? If you want to, bro, I've been in the studio with niggas that think like, oh, I have to make music this way. I got to be a conscious rapper. If you're that type of nigga, bro, like, I'll take your opinion with a grain of salt, bro. You know? And there's other niggas like, I don't want to do all that lyrical shit. All right, bro. I mean, you know, I don't think anyone's more important than the other. I think you have to be able to appreciate both. But Rory does be giving me the vibes that it's like, you're not into anything that's not a lyrical, spiritual miracle. And you got Jay Electronics on the track. I don't think that's the case at all. I guess we'll see. I mean, why not? Uh, I do uh, oh, you a I, fan? He, I know that he likes a lot of uh, R and B music. He, That's not the same. I'm talking about the Futures, the Gunners, the Young Thugs, the Lil Uzis, the Travis Scotts of the world. I never hear them give them any kind of, you know, well, that's not, respect. That's, that's not his bag, but like he, he I never, no, I ain't say it's his bag. I say they don't ever even give them respect that they deserve. The Travis Scotts, the Futures, the Gunners. Yeah, of course he does. Lil Uzis. Not as much. I think after um, Eternal Take, they were like, okay, we see what's going on. But I think it was a little bit pandery. I don't think that they really fucked with it or got it. But, you know, they were they were giving it as props, whether it was a panda or not. But the other people, like the Travis Scotts and the, and the what's it called, and the Futures? No, of course. Of course they, they give niggas like that their props. Oh, all right. Uh, anyway, so... We got it here, Rory, enough featuring Dre Electronica and Reggie. Let's get into it. It's only a visualizer, it's not a full thing. Some people only take snapshots of their illusions. Oh, this nigga don't a moment in time that captures who they really want to be, how they really want to feel, hoping it takes over the true picture of their lives. Oh, but no one takes a photograph of something they want to forget. The things you're most afraid of have already happened. <laughs> you know this thing reminds me of? Who? The dude from Euphoria. <laughs> 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 Especially when he dressed up like this. I don't know. That's funny. Good beats, good beat. What the fuck is that? Okay, this is a Reggie. Why 
he calling this a visual? Of? <laughs> you like that? My earmuffs. Love ain't got nothing to do with it. You can ask Ike that. The heart seemed like the perfect place for you to stick a knife at. How come I gotta ask four times and you why you like that? I went to see the man inside the mirror. It was Mike Jack. It ain't my fault you couldn't see what you was looking Damn, at. Damn, running a lucky girl. A lot. <laughs> this song is fire. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is, well. It's not fire? I have a. I, this nigga J. Electronic is not doing it for me. What is this? What is this? You know, fucking roller coaster flow, this tumbly flow. Like, niggas, get on the beat, damn it! I feel like he's on it. What if I was in the And I'm gonna be I feel like he's going with the beat. It's not, bro. This shit horrible. <laughs> I gave you my heart, but ultimately I took it back. It only takes a day to go from look at us to look at that. I told you there's no looking back. The brimstone is a falling. Any talk of how I did you wrong, the folks will be appalling. Things got rocky and you doubted me like Adrian and Paulie. Trante Lito, I bid you fairly well. My turntables might have wobbled, but they never really fell. Your love was conditional. So I'm back out on the ocean with dynamite inside my fishing boat. What? This music is music. Where this black nigga come from? So that's not his real girl? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's some fucking serial killer shit. It is. Who's that? No. They looking at Rory. Who's that? He's trying to pull up on epidemics. <laughs> That's why he's trying to pull up on act. Whoa. Hold on. Keep, keep playing. Keep playing. We gotta finish this. Just please don't kill them. Please don't get their dead somewhere. Please. This is the school shooter vice he was talking about. <laughs> Who's Lay? That's his girl? Who knows? That's his ex. How you know? What's gonna be? I don't know. You, you don't wanna know. That's your problem, bro. I'm just not gonna jack it. I can see that being the case. I can see that being the case. Cummins. I feel like I need to, uh... Look, I feel like I need to to re-listen to this. Cause I would, I like, I stopped listening to the lyrics midway through. I was just enjoying the music. I ain't gonna lie, I'm. Uh, I really enjoyed what I got a lot. Yeah, I was gonna I say enjoyed what I got a lot. I, I, I'm gonna say like, I have two emotions here. I'm proud and disappointed. Can you explain them both? Yes. So I, I actually don't understand the proud or the disappointed. I'm proud that... Because you're a Rory hater. I'm a Rory hater? Rory, yeah. <laughs> bro, I just look at, I look at the wins and the losses, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm proud because this was actually really, really good music. Really, really good music. Really, really... Uh, it, it shows me that you have, you have a high level of mind for this shit than the average artist, all right? And you've earned my listen. Like, I will listen to the next thing you put out, mm -hmm. for sure. The disappointment comes in is that, 
I think this only applies to him because he's a podcaster. You know, you feel like you, know, you talk to him every day, you know, you listen to him and he talks. Oh, that shit was weird. It's cool to be weird when you play Bacardi, you don't talk to people. You just make the music. But when you're somebody you talk to them, like, if I was his man, I'd be like, you okay? Why'd you make that? It's like, it's cool when these artists are weird from a distance. But imagine being some of these super weirdo artists that be talking about suicide and popping pills and drugs and all that shit. Imagine being their friend. It's like, yeah. See, that's the problem. It's like, niggas don't want to stop the bag. You, if you listen to Juice World's lyrics, bro, that nigga was crazy. Like, mm. suicidal and shit. Popping all these drugs. Oh, so I want to die. And all this. I'm like, what the fuck? But, well, I mean, what I would probably say about Rory... Because in the case of Juice World, he did actually end up dying from popping too many drugs. But what I would say about Rory is, uh, and this is probably what I would say about most artists, is that art is a uh, it's a representation of emotion. So uh, the, the music video itself, I don't think he's saying, oh, I want to go into somebody's house and pretend to be somebody's girlfriend and they come back home. I don't think that's what he's saying. But I think it's just like a representation of like how he feels, generally speaking. Like, I... An interpretation that I could put on it is something like, um, maybe the girl in the photos was somebody that he used to be with, and he's kind of lamenting the loss of that relationship, but <clears throat> he's, like, exaggerating it by him being, like, this kind of, like, Joel Goldberg-esque character that's actually breaking into the house and trying to relive, relive those memories and replacing the dude, the, the new dude that she's with in his mind, um, uh, you know, that kind of, like, obsessive kind of longing the reason, for what you used the to The reason have. it's weird is because it kind of, like, there's some parallels to his real life. Yeah, of course they're going to be parallels to his real life. It's not just a completely to and totally fictitious story, but I don't think that he would actually do something like this. Obviously not. He's got too much to lose. But Actually, what's the problem? It's, it's just... Little, look, man, it's a little scary. Not for me. <laughs> I just, I treat art as art. I, you know, I try to pick out what, what I'm supposed to pick out from it. But Niggas I don't need to give a piece literally. of themselves for their art. I understand. And the, it's why just is a that piece. in it's you? It's not the whole thing. Oh, no, why is that it's in just you? A piece, not the whole thing. But why is that in you? It's what a is piece, that? Not the whole thing. I just explained. Okay, I gave my fault. A, a rational explanation for what it could be. So, I don't know, bro. Like, Just kind of, I, but I, I think at the end of the day, like it was good music, so I don't really care. I, like I said, it only applies to him because he's a podcaster, and you know, he, he's a podcaster. He shows more of himself than your average artist, and it's like I don't know. It was just, it's just jarring. It's just a little jarring, but yeah. it wasn't jarring for me at all. So what you rated? Honestly, honestly. I think because I know more about him, it was less jarring for me because of the types of things that I've heard him say, because I actually used to listen to the podcast because of the types of things that I've heard him say and the type of mentality that I believe that he has. It's like, yeah, of course he would make something like this. It's not, it's not surprising at all. I don't like to a certain degree. I don't even understand why you're saying that this is jarring. I want to see the clips, bro. Uh, so you have no like to stand on. No, I'm saying I, I'm saying like, I know him enough as a podcaster to look at this and be like. It's kind of weird to put out while podcasting. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe niggas have to listen to his explanation for the video. Because, like, like I said, man, like, I watched the I watched the video of him and Maul on the Stefano's podcast mm -hmm. when they brought up academics. He stayed he stayed eerily quiet. Maul was saying his piece. They moved, they moved on and we did not bring it back up. Oh, no, let me say what I was going to say about him. He didn't, he didn't touch it. Which I thought, you know, like, it's weird It's weird that, like, he'll hold back in podcasting. But with the music, you'll get this. It's just... This is not, but it's not a literal representation. Why doesn't he just make fun club music why i'm asking like why is this in him what is this he doesn't have an artistic passion to do why doesn't he talk about uh fucking world peace or why does he talk about he relationships have, well i mean relationships have, in a different way like he doesn't have an artistic passion to do that i'm not saying but i'm saying where does this come from it's from his life probably sitting in the bathtub 
be breaking into someone's house and like, well, I don't understand where it comes from. That's why I'm asking. Like, it's not literal. But why does he have this idea? Maybe it's just a hyper um, exaggerated uh, expression of some sort of emotion that he had. What is that? What emotion was that? Longing for a past relationship that's gone. I don't to know. the point where you would break into somebody's house okay, my and fault. try to relive those memories. My fault. Maybe it's supposed to be funny. But me and you were not laughing. We were shocked. <laughs> so you felt it too. Maybe if it, being, it, shocked, being shocked see, would be funny. You see, if if Drake did that, you think it's funny. Because that's not the type of Drake, the person that Drake comes across as. The person that Rue comes across as, you look at that, it's a little, whoa, a little shocking. But maybe I'm being unfair. Y'all in the comments let me know. What do you rate it? Seven and a half. I hate copying you. I give it a seven and a half too. I was I was thinking eight, but I was like, do I really like the song that much? No. And I'll take back what I said about Jay. It took me a while to get into his flow. I still don't think it was the best, but he did what he needed to do. But I think Reggie was better than him. I feel like kind of weird that Rory wasn't actually on the song, but he's he's an A and R. He's like like Diddy, like DJ Khaled. Yeah, we really like that. You know? Anyway, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.